this is my 2003 Chevy Suburban. It's got 270,000 miles on it, 270,000 plus miles on it. Uh, I've owned it eight or nine years. I've put over 100,000 miles on it. And I've really, it's been a great vehicle. I've not had to touch the AC on it. It's got the best AC out of any vehicle I've probably ever owned. It blows ice cold up until recently. And like I said, I haven't touched the AC other than I've replaced the compressor clutch on it. Uh, the compressor itself is still original. From what I can tell, this AC system has never been opened up. Uh, original compressor, everything works great. But, like I said, until recently, it stopped, it's been great, but it has gotten where it's not cooling as well. So I figured it had a leak. I've had a few of these GMs before, and these ball high side service ports leak or they eventually leak and that is the case on this one so i've just got some soapy water here and as you can see it is leaking so you can see that little ball down in there it's not a typical schrader valve uh, these service ports are replaceable uh, the whole port itself unscrews from the line but to do that you do have to evacuate evacuate the refrigerant replace the service port and then you know recharge it so I don't really want to do that like I said this AC system I've never had to open it up so I'm looking for an easy fix of course and I was like you know somebody make an actual good sealing cap. Now these are really just dust caps or plastic. I figured somebody might actually make one that seals well. Well, Dorman to the rescue. This is a Dorman 902025 AC port plug. And what you get, it's about it's under 10 bucks. Pick this one up on Amazon. I'll put a link in the description to it if you want to get one. And this is what it looks like. Just a little brass service port plug with threads. And it's got a little tapered seat here that seals in the service port. I assumed it was gonna have some kind of an O-ring seal that would seal against the flat part, but no, it's got a little tapered seat. So y'all saw how that was leaking. We're just gonna thread this one in here. I'm just gonna hold a little back up here. We're not gonna get this thing super tight. But we're just going to give it a little snug. As are, we are. So that should be tight enough. And let's give it a spray. And I see zero leak. There is no leak on that at all. Awesome. How quick and easy is that? Such a simple solution. Yeah, I may just put, I don't know. I thought about maybe putting a rubber plug over this, like a vacuum cap or something just to, I don't know, it's not heated just to make it look a little better <laughs> i guess anyway there is not one single little bubble there dorman thank you for that perfect solution to a common problem now i'll just add a can of refrigerant i'll charge from the low side if i ever need to check high side you know this will thread out and we can check it but um easy solution no evacuation of the refrigerant necessary awesome so if you've got this issue you know the proper fix is to replace the service port but like i said you will lose your refrigerant so you need to evacuate the refrigerant before you do it uh, because there is no 
you know Schrader valve or anything under this as soon as you unscrew this you've got you, you've opened up the high side you know you're gonna lose your refrigerant so easy solution that involves not having to do all that if you're looking for one like I said I'll put the link in the description I ordered this on Amazon I got it the next day under 10 bucks I think it was $8.99 uh, you may be able to get it at local auto parts store. I don't know, but this thing, as long as it stays not leaking, it's going to stay like this. I am not later going and replacing this service port because these things are known to leak. So this is a nice solution. You can still use this as a service port. You just unthread this and it will leak temporarily while you have it out and you're checking high side pressure. But as soon as you put this thing back, it's going to seal back up. So, really nice. So, real quick, I'm in the back of the Suburban while I'm waiting for the AC to charge. It's about a can low, it looks like. Uh, if you've got a high side or low side uh, Schrader valve that is leaking, uh, one of these kits is really handy to have. It comes with different fittings. But what this allows you to do is you can change the Schrader valve without uh, opening the system up. Basically what this does is it seals off so that once you pull the Schrader valve out, it's still sealed. And I'll show you how it works real quick. So like this is the low side. What you would do, it snaps on just like your set of gauges would. But what it allows you to do is this pushes in and that will go in your Schrader valve. You then thread your Schrader valve out and pull it. Now I've got a little grease on it. That's a little tip there. Put, put just a dab of grease on the end of it. That'll help the Schrader valve stick to this shaft. You then pull this out, not all the way, pull it about that far. You might wanna just kinda check your distance before you do this. But you got to pull it far out, far enough out that then this valve will shut. So I don't have it far enough out. Pull it a little bit further. And then you see that ball valve is closed. See now it's open. See now it's closed. That's now what seals the system because you pulled the Schrader valve out. What you can do now is unthread this. And all the while this is all still attached. Thread this unthread this and you pull this assembly out take your old Schrader valve off stick a new one on thread this back in open your valve up push this back in and thread your new Schrader valve in works pretty good I, you know, I've had some issues, you know, where the Schrader valves don't stick the best, so that's why I put grease on there. Um, yeah, so I recommend these. I think they work great. Definitely, you know, saves you some time not having to evacuate the system. So, like I said, works great, Schrader valve. Those ball valve fittings, you really can't repair them other than replacing them with, without recovering the system. So. This little cap works great for the GM uh, ball valve, little black ball valve service ports, high side service ports. Dorman 902025. I'll put a link in the description to this. I'll put a link in the description to this kit. So I wanted to give you all a quick update. It's actually been probably six months and um, after I charged the system, the low side was leaking as well. Uh, it was not leaking before, but you know, <laughs> depressing that Schrader valve to charge the system, then, you know, I guess caused that Schrader valve to start leaking. And, um, you know, I showed you that tool I have, but, um, you know, I, to be honest, I had ordered a couple of these. And so I just threw another one on the low side and <laughs> I, I don't know, I just figured quick and easy and I wouldn't have to worry about a Schrader valve leaking. And like I said, it's been six months. I've had zero issues and uh, you know, they're both sealed up and this system doesn't leak. So, you know, 
I don't think I'll have to take them off to charge the system at all unless we develop a leak at some point. So, you know, pretty much a permanent fix that is now something, you know, a Schrader valve can start leaking just like that ball valve started leaking. You know, these are not gonna leak. They haven't leaked. Um, I mean, that is a tapered seat seal. That should not leak. So, to me, you know, that's, that's a permanent non-leak guarantee. So that's why I went ahead and just threw one there. So like I said, I'll put a link in the description to these and to that tool that I have. Um, but really, if you've got a system that's sealed completely, you know, has no other leaks, then, you know, this isn't a bad idea to do this because these, like I said, these are not going to leak. So put a link in the description to them. Uh, at least on GM, you can use them high side or low side. And on the GMs, the inside of this of these uh, ports are threaded. That's why these thread in. You know, they're the same thread as the inside of the, the ports, if that, if that makes sense. Um, I don't know if all of them are. Check, check your um, fitment, you know, guide on Amazon, and it should tell you if those fit or not. So, again, thanks for watching. Leave a comment down below, hit the like button, and subscribe for more.